Hello and welcome back to Lower Beck Luxury Cars. I'm your host, Harry, and today I'm gonna to be driving this striking Ferrari 488 GTB with only 8,000 Ks on the clock. Now, it's finished in surprisingly not red, but a beautiful gray metallic called Grigio Silverstone. GTB is the faster, more sophisticated big brother to its predecessor, the 458, which was the benchmark for driving pleasure at the time, with its glorious, naturally aspirated screamer of a V8. Ferrari inevitably decided to switch to turbocharging for its V8 mid-engine lineup. Now this was mainly to compete with its rivals in performance, but also to meet the ever-encumbrancing EU emission standards. Now this meant that the 488 had a lot to live up to and it had to outperform that 458 Italia in every aspect if it were to have any chance of competing with the love and appreciation that the old car possessed. A couple of really cool things to note about the exterior of the car is that all of the aerodynamics are actually functional. So as the air comes over the roof, it's directed down under through the flap here and exits through there. So I can actually stick my hand through there. We've also got a beautiful F1 inspired diffuser here with an F1 rain light, which is really, really cool. If we come down the side of the car, we have this huge intake to feed those radiators in the engine, the cool, cool air. 20 inch wheels as well with a five spoke design, nice and simple, super classy. And we also have some huge carbon ceramic discs there, which will just really help the car stop up nicely. Now let's jump in and have a look at this interior real quick before we set off. Now, first thing you're greeted with is this lovely F1 inspired steering wheel with the flappy paddles and the start stop button on the steering wheel, which lets the engine raw to life. A couple things in here that I've noticed, it's got some beautiful blue stitching which is quite unique. I haven't seen that before but it really helps the beige and black interior pop quite nicely. Nice JBL sound system that's optioned up in this one and uh, with that I'm just going to use the Manatino switch to put us into race and off we go. in character compared with the outgoing V8, it makes up for with outrageous performance. No matter the gear that you're in, at no point does the 488 hesitate for even a nanosecond when calling on all 661 horsepower and 760 Newton meters of torque. power is delivered through a lightning quick seven speed dual clutch gearbox that responds to you like lightning it is rapid now Ferrari have done a very clever thing with the mapping on this car as well with the gearbox and the power. For example, for the first three gears, the power is reduced slightly, which improves retraction and getting off the line. Now when you get into fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh gear, each gear will deliver slightly more power than the last, providing a seamless and effortless pull that will relentlessly pull you up to the 329 km an hour top speed. The chassis in these are honestly a work of art. It blends an unexpected level of comfort from something so sporty with exceptional car control and crystal clear communication through the steering rack, which as you build speed, it just allows you to keep pushing up to the limits that this Ferrari has on offer. Like all modern 
Ferraris, all of the controls are right in your face on the steering wheel. So your indicators, your horn, uh, your lights and wiper blades are all on the steering wheel, which is very F1 inspired. Now it does take a little time to get used to, but once your brain is trained to just hit the buttons in the correct spots, it's very easy to use when you're going fast. in the market for a 488 um, you definitely won't be disappointed the relentless power that you get from the twin turbo is just plain addictive and the level of control that you get from the brakes and the grip that you get from the tires it just makes for a hell of a supercar